All right, alternatives time. Today I'm doing a video of alternatives of Love Don't Be Shy from the House of Bikillion in the new white colored bottle with salmon colored juice. And also, Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. These two fragrances I recently reviewed. There was a little bit of a drama that brewed up and I was told that this will change color. So it hasn't. This is from December. It's still the same color. Anyway, in that video I had spoken about how the fragrance has changed, not only by, with the color, but also with the smell. Well, either way, I'm going to tell you a little bit about these two fragrances, and I'm going to give you five alternatives that will be great alternatives of that fragrance. Then I'm also going to give you five more alternatives that will go into the Floriental direction, which utilizes flowers with Oriental warm notes. So five alternatives that are similar to Love Don't Be Shy, and then also five additional alternatives using different flowers as the Love Don't Be Shy fragrances focuses on Neroli and Orange Blossom. Either way, if you're curious to find out what they are, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yes, I'm talking about Love Don't Be Shy, again on the channel. And it used to be one of my favorite, favorite fragrances, but guess what? I have found another alternative of this one. It is almost identical to what it used to be. Uh, definitely stronger than the new version uh, of Love Don't Be Shy but really delicious to wear. Um, I've been putting this one to use, the uh, extreme version that came out uh, late last year. You know, I have a love-hate relationship with it and I think it's not really um, working for me. I'm not gonna get into the details of how extreme it is versus not extreme, but today it'll be just discussing the fragrances and what they smell like, and then I'm gonna give you the alternatives. But before I do that, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So how many of you are fans of Love Don't Be Shy? How many of you are fans of Love Don't Be Shy Extreme? And how many of you have noticed the difference in the fragrance Love Don't Be Shy? And how many of you have not noticed the difference? Does it still wear the same to you guys? Does it, you know, last as long? Is the color not the salmon colored juice that we have now? Because at one point it used to be very, very dark red. Blood orange is what comes to mind with the color. Um, a little bit about the drama of this fragrance. Uh, some people were messaging me and sending me photos of uh, Love Don't Be Shy color, the juice color, and uh, somebody had a photo of three different colors side by side, and they were telling me that this color will become the dark red uh, blood orange color eventually. And the one in the middle was turning. Well, it's been so many months and this one hasn't turned yet. It's April, you know, it's almost the middle of April. But, uh, you know, it was one of my favorite fragrances early on with, Le, you know, by Killian when I first discovered it. Uh, I had always had a decanter bottle of that one. Never really had a bottle up until around the time when they did that uh, Rihanna article and the fragrance just started flying off the the shelves completely but this one is known for this sugary sweet caramelly uh notes oh in contrast with the orange blossom and neroli one of my favorite notes in fragrances if you like this note then you will probably like this kind of idea if you also like gourmand fragrances if you don't like sweet fragrances this is definitely not for you but that's what this fragrance was all about and as i said i had a decanter of it and i'd wear it in a you know you know atomizers i'd fill up uh, it just was a great great smell it reminded me of middle eastern desserts utilizing orange blossom water and things like that so I think it was very delicious concoction uh, and so up until around the late 
2019 is, I think, when we started seeing differences in colors of the juice and reformulations and people saying it doesn't smell the same and things like that. And obviously the stores will say it's not been reformulated, but for me it's completely reformulated. It's, it's a change. It's really, really changed now. I can totally experience the night and day difference with this fragrance. It's not the beast mode it used to be. So that's my thoughts on this one. Let me know if you've experienced the differences with this fragrance. Does it act the same to you with the new juice color in comparison to the old juice color? This to me just looks like freshly cut salmon. That's the color of the juice now. And before it was red, deep dark red. So going to the Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, and I think it's a kind of a similar idea, but for me it wasn't really working. Uh, in the Middle East, we use rose water and orange blossom water. This one to me seemed like mixing those two waters in your desserts or something. And they kind of contrasted to me. That's my experience with this one. So the rose wasn't really working for me. I'm trying to like it. I love rose water. I love rose and fragrances. But this one almost kind of contrasted and clashed with the neroli orange blossom combo. But it featured neroli orange blossom, rose, and marshmallow. You know, it's nice. Uh, but again, uh, I don't love it as much as I used to love the original Love Don't Be Shy. But let me know your thoughts uh, on this particular version, Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. If you like it, do you like it more than uh, Love Don't Be Shy, the original? Did you ever compare it to the Love Don't Be Shy pre-formulation uh, to this uh, fragrance. And I understand that there's an oud version or something different with uh, Love Don't Be Shy. I don't know if it's gonna make its way here. We shall see. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna buy it because I love this combination of notes. But for me, the Love Don't Be Shy Extreme is not necessarily working as great as Love Don't Be Shy did at once. So those are my thoughts on those two fragrances. If you have any comments about these two fragrances, let me know. Maybe the fragrance is working for you the way it is. It is lighter and perhaps at the time it was intense, you know. The potency was really strong. It was beefy. Uh, now it's not. And um, perhaps at one time when it was too, too beefy, like too intense, it wasn't working for you and now it is because it is lighter. The, I'd like to find that out as well, so put it down so I can find out. So I'm going to start off with the first fragrance, my new love that smells rem uh, reminds me of Love Don't Be Shy. It's from the house of uh, Parle Moi de Parfum, and this is Guimauve de Noël. So I've mentioned this in fragrance uh, videos before, never really owned a bottle, but now I do, and I'm so glad I have it now because to me, it is a wonderful, wonderful alternative to Love Don't Be Shy. So, is it as potent as uh, it once, as Love Don't Be Shy once was? It's not as potent, but to me, not only is this not potent, it has a lighter smell, and for me here, the smell is fantastic. It reminds me of the original smell of Love Don't Be Shy. And to me, out of all the ones I'm gonna to talk to you about today, it's the most reminder of Love Don't Be Shy. So if you like Love Don't Be Shy and you are experiencing uh, the lightness or the reformulations that don't compare to Love Don't Be Shy, I think Guimau of the Noel is definitely a great uh, fragrance for your try to, uh, you know, experience how Love Don't Be Shy was at once, you know? So as I said, this is not as beast mode as what Love Don't Be Shy was at one time, but I think as a smell, it's great. And to me, it does definitely perform better than the current reformulation of Love Don't Be Shy, but it smells so good, really, really great. It's orange blossom, sugar, and vanilla and it's a match made in heaven kind of a, a combination of notes. This particular fragrance is a uh, fragrance inspired by a pastry in France. I think it's a Provençal pastry, uh, but for me, it reminds me of the Middle East as well because we use this orange blossom water with desserts uh, and I, it just reminds me of it. You know, it smells like it. It just smells like something I want to eat, right? That's what I want to do with it. So if you don't know this one, do check it out. Uh, Parle Mode de Parfum is exclusively sold at Lucky Scent, and that's where I got this one from. So Lucky Scent carries Parle Mode de Parfum fragrances. In fact, I have a few videos on the channel of their fragrances. Uh, you should definitely tune in to discover uh, more about this house. It's an indie uh, niche house, um, not necessarily overly indie, but um, 
uh, I would call it an indie niche house. And the fragrances are all created by Michel Almarac. So if you don't know his perfumes, definitely check him uh, out. Uh, he's known for creating Fahrenheit, the original, but he's done a ton of fragrances for different houses. And this actually now has become one of my favorites. I still think uh, Mile High is still my favorite because I like the whole pineapple and um, immortel combo, but this is so delicious, guys. Definitely check it out. And I'll have a link to Lucky Scent in the info box where you can go and uh, check this one out and, and perhaps buy a sample or a bottle. But either way, this is great. Originally, I thought the next fragrance was a lot closer to Love Don't Be Shy, but uh, even though it is, Sintra by Memo Paris has the pettigrain note. And the pettigrain note in here throws the greenness into the mix. So even though you're experiencing the love don't be shy touches, because it is very marshmallowy, orange, blossomy combination, but they've thrown in Pettigrain, and it's the green bitter leaves, and you definitely pick it up here, definitely do. So when I'm comparing this to this, this to me smells more like love don't be shy than this, even though this does smell like love don't be shy, just that green touch added here doesn't exist here and doesn't exist in love don't be shy. But Memo Paris Sintra is really great. It's if you want uh, the sweet caramelly marshmallowy orange blossomy combination with that added uh, pettigrain note. And the pettigrain note I always mention is the green leaves of the bitter orange tree. So it has a bitterness uh, about it. Of course, green, and you definitely experience it here. But actually, it's really delicious. It adds a nice contrast to the sweetness, tones down the sweetness a bit. But still, it's sweet. It's definitely sweet, but uh, it's really, really delicious. Um, for me, also, this to me is more gourmand than this. And Love Don't Be Shy was definitely gourmand. And uh, as I said, this to me is more like Love Don't Be Shy. And the fact that this has that green bitter uh, pettigrain note, it becomes uh, a less gourmand, even though it's a gourmand. Does that make sense to you guys? So those are my thoughts about Sintra. Um, it's uh, a great scent. Uh, I do enjoy it, but if I want an alternative that's identical or very, very close to Love Don't Be Shy, I think Gimo of the Noel is definitely the one you should look into. But if you want that green bitter leafy, orange leafy touch, then uh, Sintra will do uh, fine for you. Uh, I think what you guys should do is buy samples of all the fragrances I'm recommending and test them out yourself because noses are different. You might think this one's more closer than the other, but of course for me, uh, Gimov de Noel is definitely the, the closest to La Don't Be Shy. And I have a link to Twisted Lily in the info box for this one. Uh, you can go there and uh, use my discount code PERFUMEGUY10 uh, if you're interested in samples of that one or uh, a full bottle. The next fragrance I'm going to talk to you about is from the house of Alpes de la Fleur d'Oranger, and this is uh, Neroli Blanc Intense. Now, the, the the further we go out, the less it'll remind you of uh, Love Don't Be Shy. But for me, this one also does. It's a, it, it's to me, it's more neroli than like the sweet vanillic notes, but still it's a vanillic combination. And I always thought this reminded me of Love Don't Be Shy. And the juice of the color here, as you can see, is what the juice of the color was for Love Don't Be Shy. So, you know, it's just totally different now. Totally salmon colored. And this to me uh, is uh, the juice I, I was used to with Love Don't Be Shy. But with Neroli Blanc Intense, this is lots of uh, Neroli orange blossom and vanilla, but they've added fruits and uh, mandarin orange in here, and then also some sandalwood and bergamot. But the combination is really, really great. It's great, but it's a little less gourmand than uh, Love Don't Be Shy is. And uh, so it's more neroli. If you like neroli and fragrances with sweet vanilla gourmand touches, then this is definitely one that uh, you should uh, look into. Again, I think it's a preference thing, or you might experience more gourmand with this than I am. So it noses are all different. Uh, the best thing to do if you're looking for alternatives for Love Don't Be shy is to buy samples of some of these fragrances or sample them yourself to see how close they are. For me, as I said, Gimov de Noel is the closest to Love Don't Be Shy, but this one does definitely comes close as well. I feel like also in here, I do pick up some of the green bitter leafy notes, the pettigrain note in here as well, uh, but it's not credited. But either way, beautiful fragrance. Uh, 
there's a, a little um, uh, soft uh, jelly-like uh, uh, smell in there as well, almost like a, like a gummy candy kind of thing. So even though they don't mention uh, that kind of a note in here, I'm picking up like a gummy, like a, like almost jelly beans or gummy bears, kind of a fruity kind of a thing, but they do mention fruits in here. So one other thing I should say, I personally know the, the woman behind this brand and I actually know the, 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 the person behind this brand as well, Benjamin. In fact, I have a video with Benjamin on the channel of his uh, fragrances in his store in Paris. But I also know uh, Virginie of uh, uh, Pays de Fleur de Orangere, and she's actually set up a discount code for purchases of any uh, Pays de Fleur de Orangere fragrances, including Neroli Blanc Intense. And you could use the discount code Sebastian, and it'll save you 10% uh, off of your purchases. So that's another fragrance that would be a great alternative to Love Don't Be Shy. There are two more left and then of course I have five additional non-orange blossom sweet vanilla gourmand note uh, fragrances for you guys. So the next one I'm going to talk to you about is a fragrance from the house of Profumum Roma and it's Batito de Ali. This one uh, again it's a combination of orange flower with vanilla myrrh but they have also thrown in coconut and cacao. So here it's going in a different direction, a little further away. And they're actually going further away from the tree, the orange tree, and going into more of a gourmand direction. So for me, this has less orange blossom and more gourmand notes. But I think the main note is orange blossom. But the fact that it has all, you know, the myrrh, which is a sweet resin, vanilla, which is of course a sweet uh, note, cacao, coconut, all goes sweet. So I think it tones down the orange blossom, uh, uh, you know, quantity. Like uh, there's more sweet notes in comparison to the one orange blossom or orange flower note. But in the end, you're still picking up the orange flower. It's definitely there. But you're also picking up the coconut. It's coconutty, slightly milky. The cacao comes in and al almost like, um, I think the combination of the coconut with the cacao gives me like a light chocolate milky consistency. But then there's the myrrh and then the vanilla. But you also have a little bit of a fizziness in there as well because it has myrrh. Myrrh kind of goes fizzy for me. There's a fizzy sparkliness in here. But an overall a great combination. It's interesting because I never thought orange blossom or orange flower would work with cacao. It really does. And the combination is almost like orange flower drizzled with... No, just imagine like orange flower ice cream, which is something uh, we do in the Middle East. It's a delicacy. So orange blossom vanilla ice cream with cacao drizzled on top. That's the kind of experience I'm getting with this one. Really, really yummy once again, again, but um, if you don't know it, I think definitely deserves to be checked out as an alternative of this particular fragrance, Love Don't Be Shy, because the fact that they're using orange blossom or orange flower with the gourmand notes that uh, we're typically used to uh, smelling here. Either way, that's uh, Batito de Ali from the House of Profumum Roma. The last fragrance I'm going to talk to you about is from the House of um, Eric Buderbau, and this is Oud Orange Flower. So here, I think this one actually, now back to focusing on the orange flower, but less gourmand this time, and less reminding me of Love Don't Be Shy, but still lots of orange blossom. Still it's gourmand and the combination of the orange flower and the gourmand touches will uh, remind you of Love Don't Be Shy. But I think out of all five I'm talking about today, this will be the least one. But this one has notes of orange flower, vanilla, frangipani, patchouli, oak moss, champaka flower, vetiver, and bergamot. But it's really, really delicious, guys. The oud is also very interesting. There is oud in here. Uh, and it adds an interesting, uh, slightly... Um, bitter, uh, woody, oody touch in there. But of course, I think the oud in here is not the real kind of oud. It's the synthetic Western kind of oud. But I think the overall experience is great. It depends on if you like more orange blossom and a little bit of gourmand notes together and oud kind of thing, then you would go with something like this because it's definitely not as sweet as Love Don't Be Shy or the original Love Don't Be Shy, because I feel like the new Love Don't Be Shy is also less sweet. Uh, so that's the kind of experience you would do. This is the pre, uh, the bottles that were um, before the company was purchased by, 
I think it's Pooj is who owns this brand now, and now they come with sprayers, but uh, this is the dabbing kind, and I have a little atomizer, which I don't know where it is right now. But either way, Oud Orange Flower, a great alternative to Love Don't Be Shy. So those are the Orange Blossom Gourmand combination alternatives. Now, as I said, I have five additional Floriental fragrances, meaning the flowers with Oriental notes, and I'm gonna go into different floral directions, because in the end, this is a Floriental, it's orange blossom neroli with you know oriental notes sweet notes things like that so we're gonna do different flower uh, flowers in uh, combination with uh, sweet notes but the first one I'm gonna talk to you about if you don't know already a great one is intense cafe I think this time we're focusing on um, not I think I know for sure we're focusing on rose with light uh, other floral notes under there might be magnolias and things like that, nondescript uh, flowers, but lots of rose with this one with vanilla, coffee, white musk, and amber. Milky consistency, it's a very lactonic experience even though they don't credit milk here, but I think it's a great, great alternative if you don't like the idea of orange blossom and sweet gourmand notes and you wanna go with like a rose, uh, lactonic, milky, coffee thing. There's not a lot of coffee in here, it's lightly under there. It's more of a latte and I never have lattes because for me lattes are just lots of milk with a little coffee. So that's what I always say. It's like a rose latte. So there might be some light hints of it under there but for me I want cappuccinos because I want the intensity. So there is a ristretto version of this which is more coffee like but here I think it's a great alternative. It's sweet, gourmand, you know, vanilla, ambery, floral rose a fragrance. So Intense Cafe is definitely a great uh, fragrance for you to try. All right, the next one I'm gonna to talk to you about, and the next uh, Floriental fragrance I'm gonna to talk to you about is Ilang in Gold from the house of M. Mikolov. And this is kind of at the bottom of my bottle here because this one goes down, but it's really intense. And I love the, the combination of the van vanillic and uh, sweet gourmand notes with Ilang Ilang. Basically, it's an Ilang Ilang bomb. So lots of Ilang Ilang in this one. This is it right here. And this is a kind of an interesting bottle where it's uh, shimmery, so it goes on kind of shimmery. But uh, it's a great alternative to uh, Love Don't Be Shy because, you know, once again, we've got lots of Ilang Ilang here with vanilla, coconut, musk, sandalwood, fruity notes, magnolia, rose, lily of the valley, peach, and lychee. So it's a fruity gourmand, but also lots of Ilang Ilang and lots of vanilla, lots of it. With the coconut adds a kind of a, islandy thing in there but you know what also there's like a chocolatey undertone light chocolatey undertone more like milk chocolate something like that uh, very light on the chocolate but it's there but really really beautiful kind of like a ultra beast mode kind of a fragrance uh, and if you like those kind of fragrances definitely check this one out I think this is a very popular fragrance from this house uh, if you know it let me know and what do you think about it and I think it's a great alternative to love don't be shy the next one I'm going to talk to you about is from the house of uh, Nishane. It's 100 Silent Ways, another gourmand uh, floral or floriental fragrance. And this is a vanillic gardenia tuberose combo, and it has fruity notes of peach, sandalwood, orris, jasmine, mandarin, and vetiver but a beautiful, beautiful, warm and floral fragrance. I love the combination. The gardenia works really wonderfully. I get more gardenia here than tuberose, but tuberose is there. There's that light fruity touch in there as well, but it you know, dries down to this kind of like uh, creamy sandalwoody experience. Really, really great fragrance from uh, Nishane. And this actually layers so great with um, uh, uh, Hachibat. Uh, if you have both of these fragrances, layer them they're amazing combination and the two of these layered together reminds me a little bit of ani so there is sandalwood here and uh, ani is known for sandalwood so go figure i don't know why it reminds me of that fragrance there's just no ginger and, and ani has ginger but either way a great floriental a great alternative to love don't be shy but this time focusing on gardenias with vanilla and that's 100 silent ways all right a few more to go this time we're going to the armani house and this is armani Privé collection Rouge Malachite or Malachite. 
So this one I spoke about recently once before, but a beautiful floriental focusing on tuberose with uh, ilang ilang, pink pepper, jasmine, but lots of amber, benzoin, and orange blossom. Once again, it's a warm experience matching uh, the beautiful flowers of tuberose and jasmine with the warm vanillic touches of benzoin and the amber note thrown in. It's totally different than uh, Love Don't Be Shy, but Maybe you don't like Love Don't Be Shy and you're looking for a tuberose jasmine alternative with not so sugary sweetness. You know, this is definitely not sugary sweet like Love, Do Love Don't Be Shy is, you know, uh, but it's, it's a great scent. It's really, really great. And the, the fact that it has the pink pepper in there to give it a little bit of a, a spicy kick uh, in contrast to the sweet kind of floral notes and the amber and benzoin note, it uh, makes for a beautiful wear. So that's Rouge Malachite from Armani uh, and Armani Privé collection. And the last fragrance I'm going to talk to you about is going to the house of Tiziana Terenzi, and this is Borea, a great floriental fragrance. And here, uh, oh my god, it smells good. It's very almondy, but I think um, there's a, well, there's almonds in the notes according to the notes, but lots of jasmine, lots of tuberose, uh, coconuts, vanilla, honeysuckle, rose, almonds, sandalwood, and musk. Totally venturing off into a different direction with Borea in comparison to Love. It's powdery, not necessarily syrupy, sweet like Love Don't Be Shy, but sometimes powdery can be great and some people like powdery fragrances over syrupy uh, fragrances. This is sweet, but it's not as sweet as the original Love Don't Be Shy. And as I said, it's totally ventured off into a complete different uh, direction, but still similar idea with floriental uh, fragrance with sweet notes uh, in contrast to flowers and things like that. So Borea from the house of Tiziana Terenzi is my last alternative for Love Don't Be Shy from the house of By Killian. So, um, I'm glad that there are alternatives. I think the idea between uh, these fragrances are all similar. I mean, at least the first five I was telling you about. And as once again, as I said, Guimauve de Noël is my closest alternative to Love Don't Be Shy. In fact, it smells so great to the original Love Don't Be Shy. And I'll say this once again, it's not as beast mode as it, uh, the original Love Don't Be Shy was, but it's definitely close. And it sprays on beautifully with the orange blossom and then the sugar and the vanilla just kind of develop. Just really, really beautiful. And wow, such a great smell. It's a uh, very, very, uh, it's the kind of smell that I really like. There's that familiarity about it. The fact that the orange blossom reminds me of, um, you know, the, uh, the orange the groves that I, I used to run around in or orange trees I used to play under as a kid. But then, you know, once it starts developing into the sweetness, then it goes, oh my God, this is like dessert that I used to have. Still, to still have. Anyway, so check out... Uh, Parle Moi de Parfums Guimauve de Noël as my favorite alternative. But of course, as I said, the, the rest of them are also great. You should definitely test them out in stores or you know get samples if you can to see what you think about them so that maybe you'll find uh, your greatest alternative to love don't be shy either way guys thanks so much for watching today's video let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances let me know if you've tried these fragrances let me know what you think about them what do you think have you compared these two before and what are your thoughts about how close they are and then also what about these two do you find similarities and then Probably the third and final closest fragrance, Love Don't Be Shy, against uh, a Pays de la Fleur d'Oranger, Neroli Blanc Intense. Let me know if you find similarities between those three fragrances and Love Don't Be Shy. Put a comment down so I can find out. Lastly, if you have any other alternatives for Love Don't Be Shy, please do let me know. Put a comment down so I can find out. There are others that I had heard about. I don't own them currently, obviously. I didn't feature them in this video, but I can always look for them and see what they are in the few for uh, future uh, videos. Anyway, as I said, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.